Una cartica que yo guardo donde te escribí Que te sueñe que te quiero tanto Que ese rato está en mi corazón All right, YouTube, so today we're going to be doing the reverse electroplating um, From everything I have seen on YouTube and read online you need a stainless steel uh, electrode and instead of using a stainless steel spoon like I have seen I went out and bought this stainless steel um, all thread that way I can put it deeper into my bucket instead of just being in a shallow um, tub because this way I'll be able to do um, all these serving trays um, and even with that I'll be able to do the flatware as well um, right now I'm going to be adding my salt solution into the water this will make it to where it uh, puts electrolytes into the water that allows it to uh, conduct electricity Update on my finger. Finger's doing pretty good so far. All right. Now I'm gonna attach the negative to my uh, stainless steel. And then I will attach the positive to my silver plate. But that should activate. Chargers on. Far no reaction. Let's see if I can get it onto a better. Let's see if these are actually conducting. I don't believe these are conducting at all. Alright guys, so I, uh, I switched out what I was using to reverse electroplate. This, I'm not sure if it is actual silver on it because I got no reaction. I put in a different piece and I started to get a reaction immediately. See the bubbles coming up? So the reaction is happening. The light on my charger has turned on now. So all we have to do is sit and wait. All right guys, so it's been about 10, 15 minutes or so. I'm going to disconnect my positive from my plating. And I'm going to, sorry, moving the camera, guys, so you can see. Sorry I'm outside. I just don't want to do this in the house. Nothing's really coming off quite yet. So, 
I'm gonna stick them back in there. All right, guys. So we're back. Um, I've left this in for shit. I, uh, it's been a little while. Um, but what it, what it's doing instead of what I thought it was gonna do, like I've been seeing on people do the flatware, it's not coming off in chunks. It's just coming off in little bit little tiny bits and it's staying pretty much on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape the hell out of it and then I'm going to spray so that way it goes into this bowl of water I would be doing this over what it's already sitting in but it's such a big tub of water, I don't want to uh, have to uh, get rid of all that damn water and search it or boil it off or do whatever the hell it is to separate. Scrape it. It's probably going to take a long time to do this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up another piece. Seems like that one is reacting. Good. Uh, let me get that too.
you know, I think what I'm gonna actually do is just go ahead and do it on or rinse the silver in back into that solution and just deal with the process of separating the liquid from it and drying it out. It's funny because I'm scraping it. In some places it's silver underneath looking. Like maybe it might be nickel or something. But then it looks like it's brass under another section. So I don't know if this is just more silver plating or not. starting to come off as I thought it would in the beginning where I'm taking it off now which is pretty pretty nice I do like that that means it's going to be easier to process
guys so I'll get back to you when this is in the next step so all right guys so what I just did is I ended up going to the store and picking up a Brillo pad and what I'm gonna just do is when it's done being in the process with the stainless steel reverse electro plate I'll just sit it in here and run the Brillo pad over it yeah it's a little bit more work with the water but I think it's going to be the fastest way to get rid of or not get rid of but to scrape it off and collect it into something with these big pieces like this um, I'm gonna end up dumping this uh, back into the solution and run it again and we'll take a look at the picture see how far along it's going alright so. so it looks like the outside of it is pretty is going pretty good but the inside it seems like it's not doing the bottom of it for some reason too much uh, I, I couldn't tell you what that could be from but uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take it and we're gonna bring it over here set the camera up over at this one And then we're going to take the Brillo pad to it. So what it looks like to me is it's not coming off too well right now. So I'm going to end up sticking it back into this solution and running it a little, uh, a little while longer. I believe the reason these are taking so long is um, it's a big container running this process. On top of that, these are much bigger pieces than just a single piece of uh, flatware so I'm gonna put this back in the solution and I'll come back to you guys all right YouTube so I was, I've been scraping at this a little bit after I left it in for another hour or so it's for the most part all of it's coming off fairly easy this one is uh, a copper piece instead of a brass un underneath so I'm gonna get to it and keep scratch, uh, scraping all the silver off.
So. All right guys, so I've filtered out most of the water out of there. I'm going to do some more filtering out. Um, there is still some silver on these. Um, honestly, I'm not sure if that much silver is worth having it to dip back in when I could be putting a whole nother piece in. Um, this one I probably will. Um, I'm not sure if this silver stuff right here is silver though. I believe that is a, a nickel plating under the silver plating. Um, I'm not totally sure on that though. So I will be doing uh, this piece again. That and to help get this other stuff off as well. This one, I'm, I'm probably going to not do again as well. Same reason for the the jug. Um, cool thing is that all three of these are copper, so I'll be able to take these to the scrapyard and get um, dirty copper price for it. And I'm pretty sure that's a buck to a buck fifty a pound, give or take. Um, the real problem is probably going to be filtering this just because it's way way more than the other one that I had to filter but from what I'm seeing in this one I got a good amount I don't know if you can really see it that well alright that's a a good spot that white or lighter area is an empty spot everything around that though is uh what I've taken off and it's probably a mixture of a little bit of copper and maybe if that is a nickel plate nickel plating as well I know y'all can't really see it on there but I'll come back to you when uh, I have filtered out more of this water all right guys, later. All right guys, so we're back. And instead of just filtering all that out, I didn't want to chance it all being floating and stuff because I couldn't see into there. So what I did is I just poured, uh, I'd probably say a few cups of hydrochloric acid in there. And once I did that, I cleared it up right away. Hopefully, while that acid is in there, it eats away all that other base metal that possibly came off with all that other silver. 
same thing with this one if I put far less in it cleared it right up even more than it was yeah there you go but I'll come back when it's time to filter it alright guys so I ended up filtering out all that uh, silver I ended up getting a baby jars worth it's about 50 grams sorry I didn't film the rest of the process um, it was getting dark but uh this isn't a how-to video anyways this is just me peddling with silver trying to make a buck or two you know you know how it is silver tubers gotta get that silver any way you can might be standing on a corner asking people got any silver got any silver while well, I'm scratching my neck so gotta get my silver fixed this way and it gives me something to pedal around with so I enjoy this I enjoyed doing this um, I'm definitely going to be doing it more because I have a whole lot more um, silver plate um, next time I'm definitely not going to use any acids for this process unless if it's uh, completely necessary because I found it just made the process take a whole lot longer and it didn't really do too much that I needed it to I mean it probably cleaned up some of the base metals out of here but for it to be completely cleaned out I'd have had to leave it for a day maybe maybe a little bit less but I don't feel like messing with the acids in this process just because I don't have a complete area to where I can be doing something some of this stuff but oh well it's all right we learn don't want to do it on top of this baby jar of, of the silver I have a bunch of filters that I can be using but uh, I'll come back to you guys when it uh, it's time to pour it and got maybe 30 minutes for it to heat up all the way all right catch you later all right guys so I just ended up pouring what I had in the baby jar and uh, this is what I got it ended up weighing uh, 0.56 of an ounce this was only in what was in the uh, baby jar I got the stuff that is collected on the filters in here now um, open her up a little combustion in there uh, she's still burning the filters so I'll let that burn off a little bit and I'll come back all right YouTube so I got all my uh, all the silver filtered melted down it's not pretty looking right now but it's what it is Let's see oh, that ain't register as nothing Twenty point eight grams, point uh, sixty seven troy ounce. Now this is probably going to be a little bit less because I gotta, I gotta take some flux off of some of it. So it's, it's at the very least half an ounce of silver from those three pieces that I got. Very happy with that quantity. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and throw me some comments down below.
if you got questions throw me some questions down there or tips for me go ahead and uh, comment down below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram it's gauged silver as well and go ahead and watch my giveaway video uh, that I'm having that I'm going to be drawing on the 23rd alright guys later take it easy